Welcome, boys. Welcome, welcome. Finally to the playoffs. Let's go. <clears throat> Time to start kicking some ass. We are not losing today, boys and girls. We are not losing today. We're not going to go down in this series for the third year in a row. We're going to at least get to the NLCS this year, preferably all the way to the World Series, and we'll take our chances there. So we... Uh, We're taking on Pittsburgh, who does not have the uh, best pitching staff. Uh, they do have a healthy Soto and uh, Alonzo and Brian Reynolds. They have no key Brian Hayes. He got injured earlier this year. He's out for the season. So we should be able to outslug them and outpitch them. And uh, hopefully we can sweep these baby backs and get this done quick. Um, I am going with these four guys in our rotation for the series. Fromber would come back for game five if we need him. Walker Bueller had the worst year out of the uh, guys in the rotation, so he's going to the bullpen. Um, one thing that uh, did change for the playoffs, um, Harold Ramirez is not on the active roster. Thomas J.C. is. He's uh, clearly better across the board. He can give us depth across the infield. And uh, that way, if we need to pinch run for Arnato, we still have somebody that has a decent bat and can play defense. Um, also, Victor Scott is going to be on the roster because I want that speed in case we need to steal a bag to get in scoring position to manufacture a run. Plus, great defense. If we need to put a defensive guy out there in the outfield, maybe we need to move Donovan and to play third so we can put Victor in center or left. So two guys that didn't play all year with us are going to play right now in the playoffs. So those are our changes to the roster for the playoffs. So without further ado, let's jump right in and get this shit going, man. Libertor against Valdez. If you remember, we traded Libertor to Pittsburgh for Henry Davis. And looking at Henry Davis's progression, um, he will be on the roster next year, even if we have to carry three catchers or trade Herrera, because um, Herrera's out of options. He'll get he'll get snagged off waivers for sure. Um, but Henry Davis is likely to take over as a starting catcher at some point next year, definitely the year after, um, and that's who we got for Libertor. So. Thing with Libertor before we get into this game that makes him uh, not a good pitcher for them is his pitching clutch is 43. <laughs> so anytime we get a man in scoring position, we should be able to drive him in. So, all right, let's get in here and get this game played. Full game. All we do in the playoffs is play full games. And we're going with our, our home alternates. I don't know why it's got a custom. It's that. And they are going to wear the black ones. And here we go. <clears throat> Overcast day in October. I've had to wait for us to play this entire season just to get back to redeem myself for two straight losses in this round. So we are not fucking around today, guys. I've already been listening to Metallica all morning, so I'm sufficiently pumped up and ready to go. So let's take care of these baby backs and quit fucking around. What's up, Lynn? How you doing, man? Welcome in, welcome in. We are going to lock in today, and we're not taking any prisoners. Honestly, I would not be surprised if you see a no-hitter today, so just be prepared for that. <clears throat> Yep, Eagles. I'm I'm tired of dicking around. It's time to go destroy some teams. I want a World Series this year. Whoa. 
good chance if we win a World Series this year, I'll I'll uh, move Arenado somewhere else in the off season. <clears throat> we have some young players that need to come up and start. So, oh, by the way, that first round prick, prick. <laughs> what a faux pas! First round pick, Chris Cutliff, that I highlighted two episodes ago. He's uh, he's already a 79, so he's going to step in and replace Sonny Gray right away. Um, I I will I will put Hank Tink Hens. God, I can't speak today. I'll put Hens on the 40 man so he can come up to the uh, spring training roster and let us pitch with him. But um, Cutliff is going to be the dude. We need another lefty in the rotation. Plus, he's got just a ridiculous hits per nine and durability, so he should be able to go deep in the games more so than Tank. But Hens is still in the uh, plans. He's going to be the one that replaces Walker Bueller in two years. So. So you got Gray back. That's good. Let's throw this change up. He's going to run up my pitch count. Ooh. Wow. That should have been strike three. Got him. Sit the fuck down, Soto. Let's go. <clears throat> I mean, two bags. Can't believe this dude drove in 100 runs for us this year. I'm just amazed at the season he put together. He had uh, 26 homers, I think, 100 ribs, stole 30 bags. That's going to go foul. We got him uh, for one more year at 15 mil, and then we'll have to re-sign him or try and find a replacement. At this point, that is not going to be easy. I'm more inclined to bring him back and replace uh, Duke Bar at some point. <clears throat> Tried to stay back on that one. Oh. <clears throat> So if you haven't seen us do the playoffs, I play every game and we play the entire playoff round on stream in one stream. So there will be no uh, stopping after two or three games and coming back to finish it off. That includes the NLCS and the World Series. So once we get out of this round, um, we you could easily see a five and a half hour stream. Shut down Gore for the rest of the year. Traded Fromber and Nolan and Walker Bula. Traded for Fromber, Nolan, and Walker. There you go. Fromber is a stud. Bueller's hits per nine is a little bit lower than I want. But we're living with it. That was a late decision to swing. All right, Nolan. Get a pitch to drive. The wind is blowing out to the left. Libertor. Libertor and Gorman are best buddies. They uh, used to play together in uh, like perfect game tournaments and shit. They're both from Arizona. Both got drafted in the same draft in the first round. Libertor is the guy that Cardinals got when they traded uh, Rosarena, gave Rosarena to fucking Tampa Bay. Rosarena got traded because he recorded the uh, manager of the Cardinals talking shit about the Braves after we beat them in a playoff series. He recorded them on his phone in the in the locker room, and uh, he was gone the next the next off season. So it's kind of a shitty ass reason to trade him. You know, have a conversation, tell him not to do that stuff. But 
got some baby backs in our front office nowadays. There's no reason why we haven't signed Trevor Bauer to pitch in our rotation. He should have been in our rotation before the season even started. Definitely right now, since we have no fifth starter. Just won't go for that, will he? About that right down the middle. Four, six, three. Here we go. Let's go. Come on, Jay Walk. We need you to be big this uh, playoff series. Playoff season. Mm, out in front. I was warily on a 94 mile an hour fastball. Here we go. Get down. Get down. Nope. And the ball hangs up in the air way too long in this game. That should have been down easily in front of the center fielder. This one, too. There we go. Last one should have been just like that. Oh, clean my glasses. I do have contacts, but I can't read my phone unless I have readers on. <laughs> so, I can see distance just fine. I just can't read up close even with my contacts on. i got to wear readers for that. Yeah, the Cardinals in real life don't have a fifth starter. We're trying to go with Libertor, who's not going to cut it, and Palante. Neither one of them is the real answer, but let's go. Come on, Nolan. Have a hot playoff. Oh. All right, his clutch kicked in, the pitchers, so it's in the 40s. Get shit a little higher. Get this elevated. Keep it off the ground. No. No. Thank you. <sighs> Hate Baton Arenado. Eighth, but he's only got contact in the 60s. It's lefties. It's one of those weird backward splits. It hits righties better than lefties. It's late. Run up that pitch count. Get into their bullpen. Oh, he hit it! Yes! 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 Adios, Pelota! <laughs> Told you we're not fucking around today, boys. Not doing it. He went down there and golfed the shit out of that one. <laughs> oh, Al home run. He got all of that one, too. Get through. There we go. About time we had one of those in our favor instead of against us. Tommy two bags. We're already back to the top of the order in the second inning. Oh, 
He's fast, but he ain't going to beat that up. All right, our boy Nolan. That was a driver. That wasn't a baseball bat. That was a driver. I already have five hits in the first two innings. Ooh, how's that not a strike? We traded for Henry Davis. They turned around and traded for Tyler Soderstrom. That's funny. Maybe I should have just traded for Soderstrom instead and left them with Davis. Yeah, I saw that he retired the other day. It's about fucking time. It's all about 10 years too late. Now if we get Laz Diaz and uh, C.B. Buckner to retire as well. Hunter Windelstedt, Ron Culpa. There's a bunch of shitty umpires that need to go away. And the sad part is the younger ones aren't any better. They got quicker fuses and uh, most of them have really shitty strike zones. If you want to see how bad they are at calling balls and strikes, go follow Umpire Scorecards on Twitter. These guys are horrendous. I'm all for uh, automated balls and strikes because these guys are terrible. I can't believe Wynn is already up to a 91 overall. Is that right? No. Is he a 91? Yeah, he's a 91 overall. Look at that. His contact against lefties is up to 81. His power is a 76. His fielding, he's got a 99 arm, which we already knew he had a cannon for an arm. Here we go. That's good. That means against left-handed pitching because we have so many left-handed bats, <clears throat> we can move him up in the order. Get some speed near the top of the order. He just had an 18-game hit streak snapped in real life because his stupid-ass manager didn't start him and then brought him off the bench to pinch hit for a guy that was already two for two of the home run and uh, cost him his uh, hit streak because we have a dumbass for a manager. <clears throat> He's 22 years old. He doesn't need a day off. Ali Marmol is a fuck. Yeah. He's fucking it on. Jordan Walker says it's another three run bomb. Told you we weren't messing around today. Hit it over the bleachers. Yep, that's why we traded you, Matthew. And now comes another Cardinal, Johan Oviedo. And now we got the lefty out. So all of our left-handed bats will be uh, even stronger. Means we can bring in Newt Bar for uh, Duval. That'll help our defense, too. Oh, and that's going to be to the gap and to the wall. A little more speed, that's a triple. <clears throat> I need to listen to Metallica more before I play. Yeah, 
I get into a slump here, I'm going to throw them on Spotify and listen to them through my uh, earbud here. You won't hear it, but I'll hear it. <laughs> I don't want any copyright strikes. When you see me start banging my head, you know I'm listening to Metallica. Let's go. Come on, Wilson. You're getting to the end of your time with us as well. I'm not going to pay him 17 and a half million bucks to be a backup. Tardy, but that's a deep shot there, right, right center. <coughs> At least this guy will throw high, high fastballs. So everything down. Not patient, swung at a bad pitch. That's all right. Back to back innings with three run jacks. Jordan Walker says, I can do this too. Lynn, you should go into your uh, sliders and, and adjust the injury setting because it can be out of control sometimes. Speaking of injuries, for those of you that watched the uh, gameplay reveal thing yesterday, college football, 25, they have that new wear and tear system that will cause your guys to get injured if they take too many shots and all that stuff. Um, if that ends up, it is toggleable, so it's like fatigue and practice injuries um, in Madden. So if it gets out of control, you can turn that shit off. Pretty good chance I just turn that shit off in any dynasties I do. Same thing with the uh, QB passing. You can uh, turn that on and off like, like with Madden. Get him. That's not a swing. I don't get how that guy advanced. He went back to second, yet he was able to make it to third. Got him. <laughs> That's twice Soto's struck out looking. Oh, wow. They said I stepped on the bag. And the guy scored from third, which is okay. So we didn't get we didn't get a force out. We had to tag him. Whatever. That was a weird inning. That whole inning was weird. That's going to be foul or caught. All right, now let's not just go up here hacking. Let's let this guy throw some pitches. Should have turned on that, but I want him to throw some pitches. I don't want to uh, have a bunch of four-pitch innings just because we're up by six runs, five runs. That's a good pitch.
we get on, we'll try and steal with Edmund. Nope, he's not getting on. Swung it ball four. Yeah, get out of play. Josh had 30 bombs and 100 ribs himself this year. Was looking away and he got me inside. Swinging at shit. Stop swinging at shit now. This is how you swing yourself into a into a uh, slump. You got to have Lane Thomas playing right and Soto DHing. We need to make a throw. Throw it. There we go. Easy fifth. That was like four pitches. Take that. Jesus Christ, everybody's a gold glover on computer teams. <laughs> 500 yards passing but four picks well you know if you throw them in the red zone you can get all those yards and then uh, waste your scoring chances i've done that enough in ncaa get all the way down and throw a pick in the red zone not fun there we go keep putting pressure on these guys come on donnie find some green Try to pull that. What are you slide stepping for? We're not going anywhere with Walker at first. Still can't believe Donovan had 25 bombs this year, too. This goes to show you if the guy has really high contact. As long as he's got decent power, he will hit home runs in the sim. Damn. Damn, do he got in on me? How is that not a strike? I had the umpire set to perfect. So anything that clips the strike zone should be a strike. There we go. What's up, Cavacom? How you doing? Welcome in. Trying to get through this... Uh, NLDS for the first time in this franchise. We've lost the last two years in the first round of the playoffs. Well, not the first round. We beat the Cubs in the wild card round the first year, but then lost in the second round. So, welcome in. You're having a good weekend. Good start to it, at least. If you didn't see it earlier, we had uh, 
back-to-back innings with three run homers. The first one by Arenado, the second one by Jordan Walker. So we get off to a quick start here. Get there. Come on, Contreras. There we go. Major moves. Um, we traded Goldschmidt and Carlson the very first year to Cleveland and got Josh Naylor, Tanner Bybee, and Nick Sandlin. Um, signed Bueller as a free agent. Signed Adam Duvall as a, a bench bat as a free agent. Um, we just signed Framber Valdez this past offseason to be our number one because Sonny Gray is regressing. Um, we traded, traded for Andrew Painter um, after the first season, and he just won National League Rookie of the Year this year as our fifth starter. He won 15 games. And uh, our, our team, our hitting, is basically the same. Um, haven't done much other than trading Goldschmidt, trading away Goldschmidt for uh, Naylor. It's mostly been trying to improve uh, both the bullpen and the rotation. Um, <laughs> we had a uh, we had a draft glitch this year where I drafted a uh, 21-year-old center fielder who's, uh, I think he's 72 overall, 84 potential, with the 25th pick in the first round. And uh, it glitched and gave us a 61 overall reliever in his place when it came time to signing. Don't know how that works. So off season, I have to go just pick up a young free agent and edit him to be this guy that we drafted. That's, I've never seen that where you draft one person and it gives you somebody else when you go to sign him. Mason is a 91 overall. He's uh, really hitting lefties good. Great defense as usual. I had to actually boost his defense off his initial ratings when we very first started. I had to push them up where it belongs. I didn't touch his hitting. I just pushed his arm up, especially his uh, his defense and his, his arm. Because uh, the guys who put these rosters together don't know shit. Actually, I went through all of the top 100 prospects and pushed them all up where they should be as opposed to where they had them. There we go. Come on, Nolan. I know you don't have any wheels. We need to get in there and get to second base. So this game has terrible progression and regression. They don't progress fast enough, the, the prospects. And the star players regress too too quickly. So they there's a gap there where they don't have adequate replacements for them. Yeah, I've downloaded one where the they have this uh, franchise. Um, the guy who used to do this special one with all the minor league guys left and went to San Diego Studios. It's called uh, Fran Franchise Fidelity, I think is what they call it. I have that. I didn't use it for this one. I just went in and adjusted all of the uh, top 100 prospects myself. Um, and some individual hitters. Nice pitch. <laughs> but mostly, uh, I also had to go through on this roster and put anybody that had over a 60 durability, you know, actually over a 70 durability as a starting pitcher. Some of them are listed as relievers, so I had to go put them back in the rotation. Um, but we, uh, we are in year three now, so everybody's been progressing and I think it was the first season. It's the first season or second season. Spencer Strider got hit in the head with a line drive, and he was out for the year. I think it was the second season last year. But he bounced back and won the Cy Young this year. Good foul. Yeah, I was worried he was going to quit because of it, because sometimes they will retire because of injury. There we go. Yeah, he only pitched like nine games that year.
This year it was uh, Jose Ramirez of Cleveland and Key Brian Hayes both had injuries early in the season. They were out for the year. And the Pirates signed last year, they signed Soto and Alonzo in the same free agent class, but their pitching was so bad they didn't make the playoffs. And then this year, their pitching was a little bit better, but Soto was out with injuries twice. He missed like a month and a half, two months the first time, and a couple of weeks the second time. And um, he, uh, he hit like 350 for the year, but he didn't have a, as many at bats, but he's healthy now. So. so we have to negotiate Soto and Alonso back to back in their lineup, but their pitching is still suspect. <clears throat> Skeens is okay. We'll see him in the next game. Try to get him a chase. Already at 92 pitches. Well, we're in the seventh inning, guys. All right, he's done. We're going to take him out and go to the bullpen for the last two innings. See if we can get some more runs here. We hit two uh, three-run homers. We haven't done anything else since. Naylor had 36 homers and 100 ribs and hit 320 this year for us. Jordan Walker's had back-to-back -back years of 30 and 100. Nolan Gorman's had back-to-back -back 35 home run seasons. The weirdest one is Tommy Edmond with 26 homers, 100 ribs, and 30 steals. That was not expected. <laughs> we had uh, Arenado had 19 home runs. He's the only guy in our starting lineup that didn't have 20 homers for the season. <clears throat> yeah, Naylor's clutch is like, it was 99. I think it's down to 97. So anytime he's in scoring position, he's going to be an RBI machine. I This year, normally in the past, when I've done Oakland and, and Colorado, we would play three full games on every stream and sim the rest. And this year I started doing it differently. I would play one full game. I would play a lock with a pitcher to pitch that entire start. And then we would player lock with individual players so we get to see more of the other teams. So we'd play lock with Jordan Walker one game, Gorman another game. We'd go through and pretty much everybody in the starting lineup would get one player lock game. <clears throat> so we weren't simming all of those games, but we weren't playing all of those games. You know what I mean? So it was more of a, I get to see more of each game, but don't have to play the entire game. But in the playoffs, we play every game. And some people, especially over at YouTube, some people will like when I play the entire game. And other people will like a mix where you get to see more of the teams and games go quicker, but it's not straight sim. KD, welcome in, man. KD. <clears throat> Here, I'll show you. Kava, look. Here, I'll show you. Uh, there's Mason Wynn. KD, we had uh, Arenado hit a three-run shot in the second, and Jordan Walker hit a three-run shot in the third, and we're up 6-1 to one here in the seventh inning, man. Game one. There you go, Kava. That's what Mason Wynn looks like in year three. And this is his progression. So you can see he's getting better every year. Yep. So... Yep, we are playing every game today. Had to listen to uh, Metallica before we started playing, get all pumped up, walked in, hit two three-run homers, so that worked. And now I'm winging at everything, so I might have to put it on uh, Spotify and listen to it in my earbud. That was a terrible at-bat. <clears throat> Last year, not this year, last year, Gorman ended up with 99 RBIs. We tried to get him to 100 the last day of the season, and I hit a solo homer, but 
didn't get another chance, so we ended up with 99. <clears throat> All right. Next game is going to be Tanner Bybee against Paul Skeens. And then game three is Andrew Painter, our Rookie of the Year, against Mitch Keller. Yeah. We had three guys with 100 RBIs this year. Gorman was not one of them. It was Walker and Naylor and Tommy Edmond, of all people. And Edmond won a gold glove. He had 350 chances with no errors in the outfield. So he had a silver slugger, a gold glove. 20, 130. That was a hell of a season. Oh, and Nolan Gorman says it's my time to party, boys. Adios, Pelota. <laughs> God damn right. I said we weren't fucking around today. Bam. The wind's blowing out to left, too. It's almost the exact same spot that Arenado hit his. Just a little bit to the left. I think Arenado's was in that, that uh, walkway. Come on, Jaywalk. Can you hit two today? Almost went for that. Gonna drive that to right. Let's go. Come on. Good contact, just a little late. All right. Love those tack on runs. Seven run leads a whole lot better than a five run lead. Oh, and Donovan hit 25 home runs this year, too. That's crazy. If you watch Mr. Hurricane, he had Donovan hitting seventh in his lineup. And I told him the dude's a hit machine. He needs to be up in the top one or two. And he finally moved him up, and the guy's going nuts for him. And I'm like, you can't rebuild my team and make stupid mistakes like that. Like sending down Kyle Gibson and Michaelis and bringing up two rookies that are under 70 overall, blowing a seven and a half game lead and ending up making the playoffs as a wild card. Dude, you got to be a better team builder than that. <clears throat> All right. I'm taking him out because I do not need him. To throw all these extra. Who we got? God damn it. All right. Soderstrom and two righties. So let's go with Cano. We got this guy from Baltimore. I think it was for Graceffo. I think we traded we traded McGreevy and Graceffo for two relievers, Mason Miller and Cano. We have so many prospect pitchers that were better than those two and younger than those two that we uh, shipped them off to get the bullpen better. Yeah. He just doesn't have high strikeouts per nine. That's his only... So you gotta have a good defense behind him. Come on, Naylor, go get that. It's out of play. He went. Ring him up. Come on, you pussy. Call it. There we go. This guy, he was way up in the uh, batting leaders for most of the year. All right. Three more outs to go. Castiano. Oh, turned on that and yanked it. Hey, 
I had to drive that to right, and we were late. <laughs> Says I was very early. Felt very late. <sighs> Man. So, we are not going to go after any free agents this year. All of our position players are doing just fine. Um, and I, and I don't have a problem necessarily having Arenado back for his last season, although, um, I'm not opposed to trading him. So we open up a place for us JC to play, maybe move Gorman to third base and Contreras joins the party as well. We are going downtown all fucking day today. Oh, that was a foul ball. Premature celebration. My bad. User error. Celebrate before I realize it's a goner. And we got hit by a pitch. <laughs> Interest is like, you bitch. I lose a home run and then you hit me. Ooh, Arenado bidding for his second. We are all over these guys today. So we really don't need any help with our, our uh, offense and our, our defense. And our pitching staff is pretty much set because uh, Sonny Gray is going away. We're going to have a rookie replace him. And when Bueller goes, ar goes away, Tink Hens will replace him. Bullpen might need one, one guy. Place Barlow. But we probably could bring somebody up out of the minors. So there's not a whole lot that we really need to do in the offseason. Um, might trade smith Shaver. I could get a, an outfielder, left fielder from the Mets, and they need starting pitching, young starting pitching bad. Ah. So we'll have to see. I think Drew Gilbert's the dude I could get. Is it Gilbert or Clifford? It might be Clifford. I could get one of those guys, and he could be the uh, eventual replacement for Newt Bar. So, we'll just have to see. I don't plan on being very active in the offseason. I mostly want to get through the offseason, um, recreate the guy that we lost in the draft, and get him in on the roster, and uh, go to spring training and pitch with uh, some of these young pitchers ah. and get ready for the next season. So we will play either the NLCS or the complete off season on Tuesday. So we'll get through this entire round today. The next round would be Tuesday or the off season, depending on what we do. So I'm looking at Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday next week of streaming the playoffs into the off season. So if we win this round, we'll do the NLDS on Tuesday. If we win that, we'll do the World Series on Wednesday. And that would put the off season on Thursday. We don't get to the World Series, then we'll do the off season the next the very next episode. But I have a pretty good feeling we're gonna get through this round. Problem's gonna be skeins. We have skeins tomorrow. Tomorrow. Next game. Let's bring in JoJo. There's this game off. run thank you there we go one down struck out Soto twice today looking there 
Where's my slider? There it is. Let's see if we can get him on this pitch. Roll it over. Lines out. Two down. There we go. Just get past Alonzo. Alright, we're going to back to our slider. Got him. And that's a winner. That's a winner. Eight to one. Arnado, two for four. Double home run and three RBI. Allowed five hits. Everybody had a hit. Hit three home runs. Valdez pitched great. Bullpen did their job. One down. Let me adjust my stream title. All right, Philadelphia beat the Dodgers in their series, and the American League hasn't started yet. Making sure we don't lose progress here. <laughs> All right, Tanner Bybee and Paul Skeens. Let's go. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. So what did you guys think of the uh, college football gameplay video that dropped yesterday? I've been telling you guys all the other bells and whistles are nice, but they're not as important as gameplay. So if it plays faster and better than Madden, that's going to be great. If it plays like Madden, it's going to suck. So they can show us in videos all they want, but you still have to get your hands on it and play it <clears throat> for yourself. So I'm a little more optimistic after that video, but we still have to get in there and play it. Why'd you back off? Take a step in and catch the ball. I was pushing down to have him run in, and he backed up. <clears throat> They're not going to bunt with Soto. Foul. Fuck. These 15 pitch at bats drive me insane. <laughs> and he turns and hits it out. That was a case of the game. Had already predetermined. I was not getting him out.
That should be the third out right there. Should only be one nothing. That fucking ball that Donovan didn't make a play on. <clears throat> extra pitches, extra ABs we don't need because I didn't even realize O'Neal Cruz didn't play last game. Twenty pitch inning that was completely unnecessary. Geared up for the fastball and got the slider and I was way out in front. Yeah, give me a second. I'm putting on Spotify. Shattered that bat. Of course, he catches on a fly. Don't swing at garbage. Come on, man. Get down. There we go. That's two. That's out of here. Get into that bullpen. Off the wall. All right. We got one of them back at least. That should have been a home run, man. That was a rope. Hold on, my daughter in law is trying to call me.
great run that it ended up in the World Series losing to the San Francisco Giants. Take that. I'll take that. Hold on, now let me listen to this voicemail. I'll be right back. Third base, number 19. In there for a 
I got my microphone uh, muted. That's what the problem. I forgot to turn it back on after the phone call. Thank you. Hey, we got the game tied. Ooh, almost took his head off. Holy shit. on Nolan self defense yeah I was mouthing the music before so that's why you couldn't hear what I was saying but I actually was started talking instead of singing to myself and uh forgot i had the mic off so thanks for letting me know Ooh, thought i was gonna get rung up on that one Here we go, hold him to a single. All right, got through that, game is tied, let's take the lead. Second to drop? Nope, you'll get there. Come on. 
get a pitch to drive. Just need to get on base. Steal second, get in scoring position. Whew, almost rung up on that. right there and I popped it up look how short that second baseman is compared to O'Neill Cruz it's like me standing next to my wife That dude turned on a changeup, really? Not where I was aiming. Aiming here. All right. Still can't believe he turned on that changeup. How can you be very early on a 96 mile an hour fastball? Float that out there. Damn it. <sighs> Gotta be more selective. I'm just hacking away. I only threw that one right down the middle, so... Fucking shift. All right, dodge those two bullets. See if we can get this last one. Huh. 
All right. You just want to stand there and take three pitches. I'll go sit in the dugout and wait. Come on, Jordan. Here we go. Three for three. Oh, that was a terrible pitch. Come on, man. Cannot help him out. Good change up. I'm just trying to foul that shit off. Come on, Lars. All right, Nolan, you had the big game, game one. See if you can come through here. Get a gapper, shot in the corner. Nope, popped it up. I knew this was going to be the uh, hard game out of the entire series. We crushed Libertor, which is what I figured. It's that Trey. Welcome in. Thank you for the follow. There we go. Is that baby back to hit the uh, change up out of the park last time? And that's the second straight time he's struck out looking. <clears throat> All right, Bybee's job is done. Offense needs to get their shit together. New pitcher, that's good. That is really good. Pitching clutch is terrible. Walks per nine is not great. So as long as we uh, can get a man in scoring position. Tommy will steal if he gets on first. Missed. Just missed inside the bag for an extra base hit. Now we get a bite. There we go. All right, this is the reason why we have Victor Scott on the roster. All 
Why it won't let me go to this screen right off the rip is beyond me. We've been missing on this team. Now we just need to get the ball. Ground ball up the middle. Fly ball to the outfield. That should tie it up. That's why we brought him onto the roster. All right, Donnie. Loop that down the left field line. Pull that. <sighs> One more. All right, Sandlin, your job. Like first pitch swing in, that helps keep the pitch count down. Now we got to deal with Soto if we can keep him in the ballpark. We gotta fix Henry Davis's gear because he's wearing all black. The fuck? That's a straight ground ball to shortstop. God damn. At least he's out of the game now. <clears throat> that in the ballpark. That would have been third out if we had regular defense going. That ground ball would have been right to win. Got him. Yes. All right. Let's get a run. Get Romero in here. Get this 2 nothing lead in the series. <laughs> All 
This guy's good. We've used him in the past. He had a 7 ERA in the sim, but he's good when you use him. All right, so... Yeah, I don't want to bat Duval for new bar. We're just going to swing away with three out of four lefties. Although we could use Rangifo. Walker, three for three. Let's go. Ah, late decision to swing. Come on. Blocked. <laughs> I decided to swing as soon as it came out of his hands. All right. Good thing with Gorman is he does crush lefties. You just got to make sure it's on the inner half of the plate. Like that. And we're late. There we go. That's all right. We got a day off after this game. Yeah, two lefties and actually three lefties. All right. Carved him up. Of course he hits it inside the line.
Got him. All right. Now can we get a walk-off win? Come on, Nolan. You're due. You're over three. Hardy wasn't ready for that, especially down there. Get through, get through, get through. There we go. That's a base hit. Now we'll run for Nolan. So JC will just stay in and play third base if you don't win it this half inning. It's hardy. It's all right. I'll trade those base runners so I can steal with Edmund. Now base hit wins the game. Beat it out. There we go. All right. And Morietta took a shot to the head, and he has got a concussion, and he's out. All right. Well, not only did we get men at the corners, we knocked the pitcher out of the game. Colin Holderman comes in. He's a little bit better, 85 clutch. He was pretty good on the season, and we got Mason Wynn batting. Well, Mason's just going to have to do the job here. Infield in. Just need a fly ball. Come on, boys. Come on. See it and hit it. He's going. They're going to try and turn two, and they're not going to get in the Cardinals win. There we go. God damn it, I can't type. And that's a winner! That's a winner! <laughs> One more game. Man, we had to scrape that one out. All right, Cardinals up 2 nothing. so let me update this. I don't need slow Metallica. There we go. How about fade to black? All right. Dodgers and Phillies are tied at one. Baltimore's up 2 nothing on Minnesota. Houston's up 2 nothing on the Angels. All right, day game at Pittsburgh. 
Rookie Andrew Painter, Rookie of the Year. Bat and Gaming, welcome in. Um, I liked what I saw of it, yeah. We'll see how it plays. I want to get my hands on it and play it, but I'm a little more optimistic than I was. I'm even happier that the the wear and tear thing and the quarterback passing and all that stuff is toggleable, like uh, fatigue and Madden, so you can turn that shit off if you don't want it. So, yeah. Here we go. You missed uh, game one. We had back-to-back -back innings with three run homers, one by uh, Arenado and one by Jordan Walker, and then Nolan Gorman hit a two-run homer later. Valdez pitched great. And then we just finished this game. Got down early, rallied back, manufactured a run in the ninth. So we're going for the sweep with Andrew Painter, Rookie of the Year. And I got Metallica jamming in my earbud so I can uh, stay hyped up. So put them in that. And we're going to go with our alternates. Overcast, Andrew Painter. Let's go. Let's try and get this over with right now. Metallica is just a little bit loud in my ear. All right. Hopefully it's a nice three-game sweep and we can get on and face either the Phillies or the Dodgers. The the finish these guys off. We will stream Tuesday. And we'll have to do it early, like 9, 9.30 in the morning on Tuesday because... Um, it's the best of seven, and we'll play the entire NLCS. All right, Mitch Keller. Let's jump on him early and get this game locked down quick. It's like the wind is blowing out to right. That's always good for us. We turn on that. Is that going to be off the wall? No. Soto runs it down. Didn't get, a, get enough wind help on that one. Yeah, I didn't see anything last night. I didn't watch any baseball yesterday. See what Walker's done in the series down there. He's on deck, hitting 625. Come on, Josh. Hit one fair. There we go. Take a walk. All right, Jay Walk. Find a gap somewhere. Hardy. Let's go. Wish I could play this music in the stream. Yeah, it's double play. Almost beat it out. All right. Here's the man of the year. Hung that slot uh, change up. 
That's all right. Can't put that ball in that spot. At least they stayed in the park. Holy shit. Contreras. You got to get to that pitch, man. There you go. Good strong throw. Keeps him in third. Why do they always get those bleeders and we never do? They get everything and we, we just can't. All right, seeking destroys on now, so hopefully we get our shit together. Wild pitches in the inning. All right, minimal damage. <sighs> Fucking Soto. It's a line shot. Man, good contact, just hitting him right at people. That was a filthy pitch. There we go. It's only going to be a single. He's too slow and it bounced off the side. Didn't get all the way into the corner. We know Soto is a terrible defender, but there was no way we we're going to beat that. All right. Come on, Tommy. That's going to get caught. Got to quit leaving change-ups over the middle of the plate, man. Thank you. 
Well, that was not a good half inning. We got to get some shit going on offense, man. Keep hitting the ball right at people. I got to quit throwing that change up. What he hit out was a, a cutter, but we've left two change ups over the plate and they've both been hit for extra base hits. So we got to refigure our game plan on the mound because it's not working right now. Seek and destroy. Come on. Here we go. Make him work. Get a man on base. All right, Mason. Find some grass. Just like that. There we go. All right, Donnie, your turn. Nope, that's not going to drop. At least he got Naylor up with his 97 clutch, so maybe he can get a hold of one. Did he get enough? I don't think so. Trying to shoot that through the hole to the right. All right. Enough of that. Drive a ball. Like that. He's going to have to stop because it's too shallow. All right. Got on the board. And now we have Nolan Gorman. Three run shot gives us a lead. Don't want that pitch. the one I wanted and we missed it. God. Fuck. Alright. I had too much coffee and water. I need to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back.
All right, we are back. Yeah, Pirates made the playoffs because they signed Soto and uh, Alonzo. He went. Is this strike? Son of a bitch. Got him. Sit your ass down, Soto. Been a pain in my ass all series. Two big strikeouts. Let's go. God damn, he's so terrible behind the plate. I didn't mind that walk at all. I don't want him to take me deep. Got him. There we go. Three big K's in that inning. Let's get these bats going. Damn. Can keep that fair. Got to come inside. That's what I was waiting for. We hammered it foul. Chocolate chip, chocolate muffin, anybody? This is the guy we got to get going. All over 
He's out. Oh, he's safe. That was a hell of a slide. Strikeout pitch working now. That's six. That's two home runs this fucker's hit in this series. Arenado can't get that ball. Why would a gold glover be able to field that ball? Come on, give me a pitch. There we go.
Mike Miles, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. Inside, We've already seen eight line drives from him, and it's always a good sign when the ball is jumping off your back. And that's what this offense has been doing so far today. And another ball. How did he? In a fucking ball. God, everything's right at him. Got the call there. All right. Give me something down the pipe. There we go. Finally got a base runner. Less than two outs. Ooh, did he get enough? That's going to be down. Off the wall. It's going to get us a run. There we go. Almost took it out. Way to go, Nolan. All right, Tommy, your turn.
Why are you swinging at that? He's not going to move up because he's too damn slow. That was a tying run. I'd pinch run for him. Good pitch. He's getting tired. Good. Get him out of the game. Don't chase. He's on the ropes. Don't chase him. There we go. That'll get a run in. It's not going to be an extra base hit, but it's going to get us our third run. Now the tying run is up. That should bring in a new pitcher. Nope. Okay. Come on, Mason. Ah. All right. Well, we got two runs back, so it's back down to a two-run game. So tying run will be up anytime we get a man on base. This motherfucker has already hit two home runs in the series. It's a little pest. God damn, that's the third home run he's hit on an off-speed pitch. This motherfucker, I'm going to drill his ass next time he comes up. Hit him right in the fucking head. Slow. This little motherfucker. So far out in front. All right, we need to listen to battery. Hardy.
That's double play. Son of a bitch. What's up, Notorious? How you doing? We are trying to sweep the Pirates in the first round of the playoffs, but we're having a little bit of trouble with their mini-me second baseman that keeps hitting tanks on us. Welcome in. Throw the fucking ball. Is that not a strike? Missed my spot completely. Should have thrown him a change up. Yeah. Hopefully it'll be a good weekend. It's going to rain here every damn day till through Wednesday. So <laughs> can't do a whole lot with that. Hope yours is better. Next weekend, I got a uh, reunion from a. I said we were hitting this motherfucker, and we're hitting this motherfucker. There we go. Sit your fucking ass down. <clears throat> well, we pitched around that, even though my anger got to me. Arnado gets on. Yeah, we're down three. We got to wait.
Yep, I saw the gameplay trailer, so I'm a little more optimistic, but I still want to get it in my hands and see what it's like playing because um, it can feel totally different when you're doing actually playing it yourself as opposed to watching somebody else's video. But a little more optimistic. As I've said countless times, gameplay is the only thing that matters. The rest of that shit can come and go, but if it plays like garbage... Like I'm doing right now. No point in running for him right now because he's not the tying run. Come on, Tommy. You crush lefties. Come on. Ah, fuck. We're not winning this game, so we're going to have to win game four so we don't go back for a game five. Yeah, the abilities... What's funny is... The abilities are, are like, you know, superstar abilities for Madden, right? But I'm curious to see what kind of abilities the guys you recruit come up with compared to the abilities for the real players that are going to be in the game from day one. So what are the, what are the recruited guys look like? What are their abilities going to be like? And I did see the uh, wear and tear stuff, which is like Madden Fatigue, will be toggleable, so you can turn that shit on and off. It's fucking Soto. I expect him to hit everything I throw up there. All right, do we have a three-run rally here in the ninth? Hold on, I got to turn Metallica off. I don't want to hear this song, and I just need it to stop. to win game four at least we have uh sunny sunny gray ready for that one and we pitched pretty well with him all year fucking termar johnson dude is just killing me with his home runs he had a curveball and two change-ups out so i guess the moral of that story is i didn't learn the first two times throw him nothing but heat That was a hell of a pitch. Can we get two guys on? 
Can we make contact? <laughs> One strike away. Curve is down and in. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with a bat on your shoulder. All right, we lost game three. Game sucked right from the start. Arnado had three hits. Nobody else did much of anything. Painter, three wild pitches. Fucking Termar Johnson, that little shit. All right, Sonny. We have Sonny. And we have behind him Valdez if we need to go five. Going to do a dynasty. I have one going with uh, Louisiana Raging Cajuns. I have a 55-game win streak going with that team. I just haven't been playing it because I've been too busy doing this. And uh, been doing the uh, NWO head-to-head -head league instead. All right, Libertor, we tore his ass up in game one. You didn't see that earlier in the stream. Six six runs on eight hits and two and a third. So we hit two three-run homers, one in the second and one in the third. So hopefully we can uh, take care of him right away. And we'll just wear our roads. Another overcast game. All right, here we go, boys. Here we go. Those two guys at the top got to get their shit going. Edmund and Naylor have been letting us down. All right, that'll get us a runner early. That can be a hit or an error. They're going to give us a base hit. All right, now we're going to steal. These guys are having trouble holding on to the ball. Oh, that kept the run from scoring. But we're going to get on first, so we have men at the corners and nobody out. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, Mason. You crush lefties. Got to be patient. Look at that. 76 powers. Clutch isn't very high, though. We're going to send him. He's going to have to make a throw, and he didn't make the throw. All right. One nothing lead to go. Come on, Nolan. Stay patient. That wasn't patient. Come on, man. Drive the ball. That was just bad, battling. Yeah, I'm, I'm in the same way. I've got guys injured, and I've got guys not hitting at all. None of them are hitting what they're supposed to hit or even projected to hit. Um, and then I lost Acuna. 
I was able to trade Christian Walker away for uh, Jackson Holiday a couple weeks ago, so it's a semi keeper league. So at least I'll have Jackson for next year. God damn it! At least we got to run. Got him. There we go. That's that 99 throwing arm from Mason Wynn. Yeah, I took uh, Scherzer and Senga later in the draft, trying to you know wait for them to come back and supplement my rotation, and neither one has done shit. In fact, I lost Zach Eflin, not that he was pitching great to begin with. Got a Rosarena, not even hitting his weight. I gotta remember to turn off the shift when Soto is batting. He's burned us twice with balls hit the left field. Eight. Oh, it dropped. We got a gift. Did. Can't do much with that. It's right down the middle, and I swung late, jammed myself. Come on, Nolan. You're tearing up this series. You and Walker are the only two doing anything. Oh, way early. My God, he left a meep all over the plate. I'm so anxious. I want to get this series over with. Look at that bounce. Holy shit. Halfway up first base. We need to go back to where we were when we started this. We were not fucking around. We were going to just destroy these guys. Like that. Just like that. Arnado might be hitting his way to uh, stay on the roster next year. He's got a player option for $32.5 million. There we go. He's not going to score because he's too slow, but gets him uh, a little bit closer to getting home. You can stay out of the double play. You might be able to get him in. Come on, Tommy. I'll get him in. <clears throat> Even as slow as he is, that'll get him in. Just a reminder, we will be doing the next round of the playoffs, provided I can hang on and win this series. We'll do that Tuesday morning at like 9, 9.30, because it would be a best of seven. Against either the Phillies or the Dodgers. As long as I can finish the Pirates off. And uh, we get through that series. We'll play the World Series on Wednesday. All right. Tacked on two more. Two runs on three hits. No errors and one left. We go to the bottom. 
bottom of inning number two. It's the Cardinals three and the Pirates nothing. Oh, it's Revamp's birthday today. Happy birthday, Pimp. I don't think he's in here. You see Revamp TV. Tell him happy birthday, man. It's not a swing. Wasn't even close. Should have thrown an off speed pitch. Shocked Arenado fielded that ball the way the game plays defense with us. It's fucking horrible. All right, Mason. That's down in the corner. Almost hit it out. Come on, dig, 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 dig. There we go. Just missed a home run. Told you he'd crush his lefties. That's going to get him home. Almost hit it out, too. That's two balls off the left field wall. My goodness. Let's finish this game off early. Come on, Jaywalk. There's another run. <laughs> it's five to nothing. I need to adjust this. It says two nothing, but it's two to one. All right, Donnie, let's keep the merry-go-round going. We've scored 11 runs off of him in less than five innings. <laughs> 11 runs in three innings that he's pitched. No. Two or third. So five innings. He's pitched five innings and given up 11 runs in two starts. Lead on that. That's all right. Tack on runs, man. Yeah, 
There we go. Kept him in the park. Got him out as well. Soderstrom hasn't done shit. How do I lose the strike zone like that? Park. Very fortunate. All right, that's two down. Go foul, go foul, go foul. It should have been a strikeout. Come on. Can't believe he's still in the game. Could have just stayed back. That was a good pitch. Gosh, it's oh. off.
Ooh. Lucky we kept that in the park. Left that a little bit too much over the plate. That was not where I wanted that ball. Alright. Shit over. Yeah. Come on. Stop swinging at shit. That's going to be out of here. Adios, Just missed one last time. Might have to bat him second against lefties next year. Maybe even lead off. Well, Edmund hits lefties great too, so maybe we bet Edmund one and win two. Naylor third. That was a nice pitch. Pretty much had the swing. All right. <sighs> See if we can keep Walker hot. Go. Base hit. Yes, yes, yes. And he's finally gone. Haven't seen Priester all uh, series. He's a right handed starting pitcher. bite on that slider. Of course he catches that.
And left that too much over the plate. All right. No harm. Two outs to get this guy. It's no big deal. Oh, shit. That's going to drop. Where's that throw? What's up, George? How you doing, man? Welcome, welcome. See, I'm uh, struggling to finish these guys off. You're having a good uh, Saturday morning out there in California? Shouting people out today. Dude, I need to get this series over right now because we don't want to go five. We go five and you never know what happens. <laughs> I think we blew a two nothing lead in one of the last two years. So we need to we need to nail these guys down right now. At least Arenado is hitting the shit out of the ball in the playoffs. He does not want to go somewhere else. Let's bring in Lars. It'll help us both hitting in on defense. to get our shit together. Hey, three weeks from today, going to the game against the Giants. You like our City Connect ones, those all red ones? At least they did it right, said the Lou, and they had Nelly introduce them. That dude has been a pain in my ass all series. If he's not doing it at the plate, he's doing it in the field. is your 50th nice well happy birthday ahead of time george is uh gonna be in town and we're going to the game against the giants on uh the 22nd they're gonna wear the uh city connects the next day on sunday so cabby you get to join the 50 club i'll be 59 this year Yeah, George, I, I told my wife, we need to get there. It's a, well, like a one fifteen game, but we need to get there around noon so you have time to walk around the stadium and check stuff out. And and uh, no rush to get in. They're giving away a, a tumbler thing so we can get that. Yeah, I used to go to games all the time when I was a kid. I would look at the schedule when it would come out and uh, would try to go on my birthday if the Cardinals were in town. Or if they had, back in the day when they used to schedule doubleheaders, I would always pick a doubleheader so I could go to, so I could watch two games for the price of one. And kept that in the ballpark. There we go. All right, 6-3 through 6. I think Sonny's going to be able to go at least one more, but we'll yank him out if we have uh, 
any trouble here. The Stankies. I went to a game at uh, Skydome in the early 90s, the year the Blue Jays uh, had the All-Star game there. Who was it, 90, 91? My uh, best man and I drove straight from St. Louis to Toronto. We left at like midnight, got in there about 4.30 in the afternoon, Toronto time. And uh, we saw him play the Mariners and Griffey and Randy Johnson. It was Tom Candiotti's first game with the Blue Jays. And uh, after that game, we drove back to Detroit, got in there about 5.30 in the morning, slept for a few hours, went to Old Tiger Stadium and saw the uh, Tigers play the Indians. And uh, Tom Selleck was there. That's when he was filming Mr. Baseball. He was there in Tigers uniform taking BP. And we saw that game. Then after that game, we drove down to uh, Cincinnati. We stopped at, stopped in Bowling Green and had dinner. And uh, spent the night across the river in Kentucky. And the next day on Sunday, we went to a game at Old Riverfront. Saw the Astros play the Reds. And then drove home after that game. It's a little detour to the uh, strip bars on the east side on the way home. Got home about 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. George, I just finished off my Casamigos bottle that I got for Christmas from my older son. Still got Hornitos, and I still got some uh, Terramana. You guys are blowing up my Discord. I'm going to have to turn it off. Yeah, Diaz is a jerk. Oh my god, guys, you're killing me with Discord. I'm going to have to turn Discord off. Alright, Sonny's done. We are in the seventh. We're not messing around. JoJo's coming in. Got him. Sit your fucking ass down. Yeah, Diaz Diaz and CB Buckner both need to be out of baseball. Got him. JoJo comes in and shuts him down. Let's go. All right. Six outs to go. Let's get some more runs. You can hear Harry Carey in my head. Let's get some runs. As he has his 15th bud.
Come on, Jordan. Drop. There we go. I'll take that little cheap hit. I can still hear Harry Carey trying to say Galarraga and Gredzalonic. Gagagala. <laughs> I love Harry, but he was just a meme of himself. There we go. That's a gappa. That's going to score Walker all the way from first base. Go. Send him. Make this a four-run game. Grand Slam cannot beat us. Donnie with the clutch hit. Come on, Wilson. You're due. Oh, he's trying to hit that out of the park. He was notorious, was asking earlier about uh, doing an NCAA Dynasty leading up to new game. I will probably start streaming um, Louisiana Raging Cajun football streams later at night. Get the baseball done earlier. And Arenado, yes! There we go! <laughs> the dude is on fire in the playoffs. My goodness. I'll start doing the Raging Cajuns later tonight because I want to try and get 100 wins in a row before the new game comes out. Waits back and just drives it to right center. That should be enough. It's 9-3, to three, so that should seal this deal. He trapped it. Kenyon Middleton. This is a guy who used to be on the Cardinals. Or Keon. Keenan. Can't say his name. Keenan. He's been out all year. We paid him $6 million and he's been injured and probably needs Tommy John. Let's make this no doubt. I don't want any drama in the ninth inning. Way over that. It's almost time for lunch. Got to get this game over. George. We're having steak and baked potato and salad for dinner tonight. Even if I have to go outside and cook those steaks on the grill while it's raining, we're having steak for dinner. Ah, it's gonna get chase. Chase that cutter. There we go. <clears throat> Five more to go. Five more to go. We're going to get him out of the game and bring in Sandlin. Because I don't want to blow him out trying to get through this inning. I'm just going to throw another slider to this guy. Try and keep this one down. There we go. Back door.
sees him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up. Don't care about walking. It's okay. Because he'll chase this pitch. I'll throw it again. One more time. Back with the fastball. Splitter. Rolls it over. Easy throw to first. Get out of the way, Arenado. There we go. Three outs to go. Three outs to go. I'll bring in Victor Scott to play left field after this one so that we have a uh, better defensive player than... Um, Donovan out there in left field. Nice base hit for Naylor. Get him going. Need his bat hot. Mason homered earlier. He's got two out, two hits. A double and a home run. He's up to a 91 overall in year three. So he will develop if you give him time. Unlike some other YouTuber. Care. Let's get this game over with. We're just swinging. I want to get this game over with. Don't care. This game over with. I'm going to get one, two, three in the ninth and be done. All right, Jay, walk. The only thing you haven't done is hit a home run today. I'm not going to hit it on pitches like that. Come on. Cinnamon rolls. Yeah. Love cinnamon rolls. We have chocolate chip, chocolate um, muffins that I made last night. After the NWO game, that's why I wasn't in uh, Discord. I was making those muffins and watching um, part of season five of Yellowstone. Almost done with that one. All right, three outs to go. We're going to bring in Romano because I don't want to mess around. There's one out. Yeah, I left out the uh, protein powder this time because they get a little dry. That's a swing. Goddamn right. Rolls that over to Gorman. There's two down. Said when I started the stream, we weren't messing around today. We just had one rough game. Game three. Kick their ass in game one. Gonna kick their ass in game four. Manufactured a win in game. There it is. That's a winner.
Three hits for Walker. Three hits for Arenado. He had four doubles and two home runs. Sonny Gray pitched well enough. Bullpen did their job. No more Tamar Johnson to worry about. Now we got to find out uh, between the Phillies and the Dodgers who wins that one. I would rather face the Phillies. It's the Phillies. All right. So we know that the Phillies won. Phillies beat the Dodgers three games to one. Houston swept the Angels. They won 105 games, by the way, Houston. Baltimore's up two to one on Minnesota. All right, let's save before I screw up and uh, and accidentally back out. All right. And we'll send that day in Minnesota, Baltimore, 2-2. Two, two. And Minnesota wins in five. So Houston and Minnesota, St. Louis and Philadelphia. What was... Uh, so we won 102, the Phillies won 102, the Astros won 105, and the Twins won 99. So we have the four best teams in the final four. Doesn't always happen that way. Hitting wise, Walker's hitting 529, Arenado's hitting 563, Downey's hitting 412. Valdez pitched great. His only start. Bullpen. Zach Thompson's the only one that has allowed a run. So. All right. It's weird to starting on a Sunday, but we host Philadelphia since we tied, but won the tiebreaker. So it'll be Fromber against Aaron Nola. You guys are well familiar with Aaron Nola from my Rockies franchise. Tanner Bybee against Zach Wheeler. Painter against Taiwan Walker. So Painter gets to go against his old organization. And Sonny Gray. Who's their fourth starter? Mick Abel? Yep. It's either Abel or Allard. And Allard had a 320 ERA. He had a 391. So I don't know who their fourth starter is. Hell, it could be Christopher Sanchez for all I know. So... Um, Real Muto had a little bit of a down year. Harper, 38 bombs, 303 average. Stott is out. Ooh, that's he had 30 home runs and he's out. So, having to go with this guy, that's huge. Alec Bohm hit 17. Trey Turner down to 18. He's uh, regressing a little bit. Brandon Marsh hit 300. Rojas had 24 steals. Castellanos had 22, so they might be using Clemens. He's in AAA. They're using Robert Moore or Franco or Miller. Hmm. Okay, well, here's uh, here's what we've done in the past. So 90 wins, 101, and 102. We finally got through the NLDS. First year, we beat the Cubs in the wild card and then lost. And last year, we just lost in the uh, first round for us, which was the NLDS. But... If you didn't see the awards for the regular season, right now Arenado is the postseason MVP in the National League. It's Jimenez in the American League. MVP in the National League was Otani. American League was Judge. Cy Young was Strider. American League was Pablo Lopez. Freeman won the batting title. Judge won the batting title. Reliever of the year was Bednar and Abreu. Rookie of the year was Andrew Painter for us. 
Walker Jenkins for the American League. And get this, he only had 170 at-bats and he won Rookie of the Year. That's how bad the rookies were in the American League. So. All right. Tuesday. Between 9 and 10 a.m. Central, probably closer to 9, 9.30 Central, we will play the NLCS against the Phillies. If we win the NLCS, I will come back on Wednesday same bat time, same bat channel, and we'll play the World Series against Houston or Minnesota. If we lose the NLCS on Tuesday, we will do the complete offseason on Wednesday. Um, I, I said before, I'm not really inclined to go out and sign a bunch of guys. We might get somebody for the bench, but I'm not going after any big free agents because we're, we're in a good shape with our roster. And if you look here, Sonny Gray is going away. He's getting replaced by a rookie. Arnado has one year left. So that's $57.5 million that we'll be able to spend later after these two years. And then Contreras, that makes it closer to $70 million, right? Look at that. We're going to go from $150 down to $94 million after that year. Um, and we're already down to $20 million in year 2029, so... We lose a lot of salary in the next three years. Uh, we're probably going to deal Rangifo off because I don't want to pay $5 million for a guy just sitting on a bench and not playing. But here's where we're saving money for. We have to sign Newt Bar if we decide to. We have to re-sign Donovan if we have to. Walker's still got three more years at $3 million. Gorman's got two more years at $3 million. So we're going to have to sign these two guys here. Nobody else is making money. So once uh, Sonny and Arenado go, we'll have that money to spend on Walker and Gorman. So that's where we sit with that. Here's our top prospects. This guy is only 18 years old. We just drafted him last year. This is our number one pick from the first draft. He's already a 78. His hits per nine is up to 85. Velocity's high. Um, he pitched great. Threw a two-hit shutout with 10 Ks a couple of streams ago with him. He's uh, he's ready. He's going to step in. He's my size, 6'3", 230. He's going to be ready to step into the rota rotation instead of Sonny Gray making nothing. <laughs> And then behind him, we have Tink Hentz, who's going to be about another year or two away. Victor Scott's going to be on the Major League roster next year. Um, this is another first-round pick we got. Leadoff type hitter. Um, so JC will be up on the team next year to replace uh, Harold Ramirez. And, yeah, that's how it goes. And I have to replace... The, uh, this guy right here, let me show you this. We drafted this guy with our first round pick this year, and it glitched after the draft. And as soon as between when we drafted and when we started to sign draft picks, this guy disappeared and it substituted in the last relief pitcher that we scouted, who was a 61 overall. So. This guy, uh, we have to recreate him and put him on the team because the game screwed us. <laughs> so, anyway. And we'll save this again so we have it double saved in case we get a corrupted file. Right, that's going to be it for today, boys and girls. See who we can go raid. Um, we have a choice. You guys help me out in the chat. We can go raid Yofi, who's playing NCAA 14, or Stoner Gamer, who's playing NCAA 14. Let's see what they're playing. Stoner's LSU Year 8. And Stoner Gamer is playing year 36 with his Taco Bell dynasty. 
both of those guys are good choices. Have a good one, 49er Pimp. I'll talk to you later. I got to get my game with Jimmy scheduled, hopefully Monday or Tuesday night for that one. But uh, let's go hit up uh, Stoner. Isn't anybody watching him? Let's go hit him up. Start that raid. And when you guys are ready, we'll have a head on over there. And uh, I will catch you guys Tuesday morning for the NLCS. So you have a good weekend. And I will see you uh, in a few days. Mm -hmm.